Hello everyone, my name is Light, and welcome to the lab. This is an all brand new lab that I have recently set up for the purposes of our tutorials. As you can see, we got some bubbles in behind us, a little bit of lava. We got our brewing stands here on the desk with our potions. We got some, uh, some stuff going on on the sides. And we also have a class. So... For today's experiment, we are going to be building an armor equipping station. It is something I think everybody could use in their world, especially for those times when we die, and then we got to spend all that time, you know, making new armor, tools, whatever the case might be. With one of these, you know, if you make your armor beforehand, you could be ready, go back and get your stuff in no time. All right. So before we go out, we'll give you a little tour around the new lab. Over here, we have a zombifying station. So if I was to put a lever here, push that villager over, he would be zombified. Over here, we have a stash of piglins. So we have some piglin brutes and a normal piglin. Now you might be wondering, how are they not turning into zombie piglins? Because they're in the overworld, it's because of the command I use to spawn them in. You can actually turn that event off. All right, and over here we have a couple drowned, one of them with a trident, so I've been calling him Drosiden. And over here, of course, we have everybody's favorite mob, the Creeper. All right, so that's just a little tour of the lab. As time goes by, you might see more here. We'll see. All right, but if you allow me a moment, I'll get us over to the site and we'll get started. All right, so just before we start the build, I thought I would also give a little update on the sub count because I do have a small update for you. But this time, I'm actually going to update the numbers while you guys are still with me. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that now. So if I press this button, the number here should increment by one. And there we go. I am now up to 34 subscribers. So again, a heartfelt thanks to everyone who has recently subscribed. I've really appreciated it. And to those watching, you know, if you like what you see, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. It would really help out the channel a ton and, and help us all grow. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right, now let's get down to business. All right, so here we are at the build site for our armor equipping station. As you can see, it has a very small footprint. So we're talking a, you know, a six block space footprint. Very, very small. Over here is a little circuit that I'm going to, uh, I'll demonstrate for you once we get the station built to show you something you can do with a comparator and uh, the output from one of the, from one of the components that we're gonna use. All right, so for this build, you are not going to need much. If you can believe it, for this build, you are only going to need seven dispensers and seven pieces of redstone. Maybe six, but have seven on you just in case. Now, in order to start us off, we'll lay out our dispensers. So we're going to want one here with the face pointing in. One here. One there. Get up on these dispensers. You're going to want one... Now you're going to have to crouch to place these ones. So you want one there. One there. And as well, one there. Now we are going to need one more dispenser up on top of these two in the back. So again, you'll, you, will, you will have to be crouching to place this dispenser. Otherwise, you'll access the inventory. And for this one, we're actually going to want to... I apologize. This isn't going to be placed in the back. This is actually going to be straight up above us like this. So, in order to place this dispenser, you will need a temporary block. It can be anything at all. It doesn't matter what it is. All right, so, put your temporary block like that. Come on in here. Look at it. Put your dispenser in like that. So, the face is pointing down. Once you have the dispenser in, get rid of the temporary block. When all your dispensers are in, this is what you should have. Okay, now you will also need two temporary blocks in the back. Again, it doesn't matter what they are. You're going to want one here. 
and one here. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to lay out our redstone. And this is actually the easiest part. So we want a piece here. Again, crouch. Piece there. Piece there. Nope, not that one. Piece there. Piece there. And finally, a piece here. So I'll get back up on top so you can see that. So it was piece here, 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 and here. For a total of six pieces of redstone. Okay. Now that we have our redstone in, we are going to need one final component. And that component is a button. It can be any button, stone or wood. I'm going to use the stone button. And you want to put that on this dispenser. So again, you'll have to crouch, put the button on like that. Okay. Now, once you have your button on, the next step is to fill up your dispensers with all your armor and weapon items. So if you allow me a moment, I'm going to go ahead. I'll do that and I'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. All right. I have the dispensers completely full of gear. And now I can show you this thing in action. So for example's sake, let's say we've just died, we've respawned in our base, you know, we've woke up here by our bed. Typically, we would now have to spend time recrafting our gear, tools, and everything we need to get going again. Well, you know, provided that you've done all that beforehand and you have your dispensers ready to go, all you'll have to do is walk in, and with the push of a button, you're geared up and you're ready to go. So as you can see, we now have all five pieces of our gear on, and we have a pickaxe and a sword, just like that. What was that, literally a second? So that will save you a ton of time, and you can get back to getting your stuff again. All right, now uh, we come to the purpose of this circuit over here. As an optional add-in, if you wanted to, you could use redstone lamps to indicate the fullness of your dispensers to know when you had to add some more gear. So, for example, let's say I take all the shields out of this dispenser right here. I'll also take off the one I'm wearing because that gives us the full nine. Now, in order to get a reading like this out of the dispenser, you will need a comparator. And the amount of redstone power that the comparator gives off will be dependent upon the amount of items in the dispenser. So when you're putting the comparator down, it should be facing out like this. So the single knob is going out. Now I'm also going to need a piece of redstone here to connect up the rest of the circuit. So if we go ahead and we add in one shield, you can see that it has provided enough power to push this one piston and light this lamp. So if we add in a second shield, we have a second lamp. And again, you can keep going down the line. There's three. And as you can see, we have four, five. I'm just gonna throw in the rest so that you can see when you have it full, all nine will light up. Now, conversely, if you were to take one out, you'll see the last redstone lamp turns off, meaning that you are down to eight left in the dispenser. Now, I'm not gonna wire, I'm not gonna show you how to add this to the build in this demonstration. That's not the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, I will, I'm actually not going to be using this myself, so I'll leave the wiring for that up to you. But that is how you can do it in case you wanted to have something fancy like that to indicate how much is left in your station. Now, if you're going to use this in your world and you have any troubles, please, please feel free to reach out in the comments below. As always, I will definitely help anyone that is willing to give my tutorials a try. But on that note... That is all I have time for today. So again, my name is Light, and thanks for stopping by. Bye!